So did he finally go too far? Welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to another special edition of Believer's Talk where we talk a little bit about the Buffalo Bills. Not exactly Buffalo Bills related news, but it does involve a player from the Buffalo Bills and that is LaShawn McCoy. Before we do that, however, if you have not already hit that subscribe button, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we have you covered on all things Buffalo Bills news, no matter how big or small it might be. We have you covered on all the free 2019 free agent signings. There still might be more of those to come. We kept you up to date on all of the Buffalo Bills draft picks and we will be doing individual episodes for each one of those draft picks. I will be doing episodes on the undrafted for agents as well. But in this episode, we want to talk about LaShawn McCoy. Listen, if you are a fan of LaShawn McCoy, if you're a fan of the Buffalo Bills or if you're a fan of the Philadelphia Eagles, you know that LaShawn McCoy has not been afraid of putting himself in controversy. Whether it be last year, talking about Le'Veon Bell's contract and what he thought Le'Veon Bell should do. Whether it be, you know, last year during the offseason, that incident at his house in Atlanta, Georgia with his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, which we're still not sure exactly what happened there. Whether it be that incident when he first came to Buffalo at the bar in Philadelphia with the police officers, there are plenty of instances where LaShawn McCoy has stretched the envelope. But is this finally the can- or the straw that breaks the camel's back, so to speak? And it seems like some people are very unhappy if you don't know the situation, let me break it down for you just a little bit. Apparently, on Friday, while most of us were watching the NFL draft, right after the NFL draft, and if you are a fan of Sports Fury, Josh and Sean put a picture out. And you listen, if you're not if you're not following Sports Fury, you need to be. After they did the live stream of day one of the NFL draft, they sent out a picture on Twitter showing that hey, they're at the movie theater getting ready to watch. Avengers Endgame, the last of the Avengers series. This is something that Marvel's been working on for since 2008's Iron Man. You know, so everyone is excited about this, and no one else is. You know, everyone's excited, including Lashawn McCoy. Lashawn McCoy tweets and puts a picture out for the premiere, showing him and his son watching Avengers Endgame, and that's very you know good for him. I mean, it must be nice to have money where you can have a private showing of uh, of the you know the movie. But I have yet to see the movie, so I'm going to try my hardest not to spoil it for those of you who haven't either. Um, and if you try to spoil it in the comment section below, I will be making sure that those get deleted. So don't worry about that either. However. After the movie's over, LaShawn McCoy decides to go on Twitter and reveal kind of a big part of what happens in this movie. And, you know, a lot of people, uh, his 700-some thousand Twitter followers, were very upset about this, and understandably so. So let's go back, talk about Avengers a little bit, or the, the Marvel comic scene. So in 2008, Marvel comic comes out with Iron Man, right? That's the first movie for this whole series that takes 11 years to tell the full story. So obviously after 11 years, everyone who is a fan of the Marvel comic universe is excited for this movie. This is the 22nd Marvel comic movie coming out. And even the directors of Avengers Endgame put a tweet out asking people, Asking people not to spoil it. Again, this is an 11-year story, basically. And this is the end game. So it's going to be a very exciting movie. Lots of great reviews. Even if you haven't spoiled, I suggest you go see it. Because it sounds like it killed in the box office. And I know that there have been a lot of great reviews for this movie. But LaShawn McCoy decided to spoil, again, a big part of the movie. I'm not going to spoil it for you here. Uh, I have seen the tweet, but... um, I don't want everyone else who hasn't, because I didn't see the tweet originally, right? I was paying attention to the NFL draft, paying attention to all the trouble I've been having with my uh, with my computer and getting videos out. And again, I am doing this on my phone, so we hope to get my computer back up and running here shortly and give you the video content that you are used to. Uh, but for now, I'm going to give you all the content I can from here. But anyway... And then he tweets a big part of the movie and it has people in an uproar, you know, saying that LaShawn McCoy should be suspended, saying that LaShawn McCoy, hope uh, he gets injured. Now, I am not one to ever root for an injury ever. Uh, But again, we know that LaShawn McCoy does not mind being in the middle of controversy. So let me know what you think about LaShawn McCoy tweeting out a tweet. Did you see it? 
Did you see what he tweeted? Do you care? I know some people, especially sports fans, might not care so much about the Avengers. I'll be honest. I have not seen a movie, uh, a Marvel movie, since the second Avengers movie came out. Not that I don't like them. I think they're great. Um, but I just really have been focusing on the channel and other sports-related things and getting married, having a kid, that kind of stuff kind of takes time as well. Um, so I have some catching up to do. But I do plan on catching up because, again, there are great movies. But more importantly, what does this mean for our boy LaShawn McCoy? Uh, you know, again, he's, he's never been afraid to be the center of controversy. And he doesn't shy away from it here. Hopefully, it's just a blip on the radar. Guys, this is the issue with social media, right? Social media opens up a lot of platforms. Well, it also opens up a lot of platforms for things like this to happen. LaShawn McCoy was so shady about it. That he even misspelled some of the names of the characters that he was spoiling about, right? So apparently on Twitter, if you say, hey, block the word Bills, right? It will block any tweet containing the word Bills in it. But if someone puts B-I-L-S-L, I'll see it, right? So if they if they misspell Bills, then I still see it. It can't block associated names. So even if you said, hey, don't don't let me see any tweets regarding Elmo, right? And then uh, LeSean McCoy puts Elmo, but he puts E-M-L-O, and then you get to see it. So even if you try to block spoilers, it happened, unfortunately. If, if you saw the spoilers and you were looking forward to seeing the movie, I do apologize. But again, I still say you should go see the movie, even if you, if you got the spoiler or not. Um, just because it looks like it was a great movie. But tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section what you think. What do you think about my, our boy LaShawn McCoy? Obviously, he shouldn't have done this. This is something that some people might not care about. But uh, for the movie world, for the fans of movies, I know Josh and Sean would care about this a lot over in Sports Fury. And I'm sure there's a lot of others, too, who thought this was a really jerk move by a guy who has shown his colors in the past. And I know he's a Bills uh, running back. And I know we on Sundays, I got to cheer for him. And I'm going to. Um, but you do have to wonder why, you know, why I understand you and you're somewhere upset about some of the stuff that happened in the movie, but you know that you have over 700,000 Twitter followers and most of which probably didn't get to go to the premiere. Why would you then, uh, spoil it for those who didn't? And it's really a selfish move, but again, this is a guy who is proving to be selfish in the past. And uh, he doesn't shy away from that here either. So again, thank you for joining my Believers Talk. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. How, how bad of a move was this? Again, I'm not huge into following all of the Avengers movies. But I did hear this was a great one. I hope that those who did get to see it, did see it and did enjoy it. Those who haven't yet, buy your tickets. It's going to be in theaters for a while, man. Because it broke some box, box office records. And again, 11 years in the making. Very cool. So congratulations to the Avengers. You're the fans of Avengers, I hope you got to see the movie and enjoy it. To those of you thinking about LaShawn McCoy, again, a selfish move from a guy who, as far as his his uh, his you know image, his image to the world, which I'm sure he doesn't care about, but he's proven to be a very selfish individual, and he proves it again here. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, where we keep you covered on all Buffalo sports news, whether it's just talking about this individual player or talking about bigger things, again, like free agency, the draft. We're going to cover you, up, cover you on rookie mini camps, preseason, regular season, and then hopefully beyond. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about LaShawn McCoy. I'll talk to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.